Guys, our deal at Extra Wallets is still going on right now. Get your limited exclusives of edition of the Angry Joe Show wallet. Click the links down below. Yeah, 20% off everything. And then the thing with Extra has always been money back guarantee, great warranty. There's no reason not to check no. it out. Just At a great freaking upgrade. price. Yeah. All those other ones overpriced. I went out and searched, and this was my favorite wallet, and I went and partnered with them and they're cool as hell allowing us to like help develop the products awesome yeah. guys check it out and i hope you enjoy the video Hey guys, welcome. We just got back from Dune Part 2, the highly anticipated, at least for me, uh, oh, conclusion. Yeah. Ha! Just kidding. Not a conclusion to the Dune uh, two-parter, now three-parter. Uh, as I just confirmed here, I looked it up. Uh, in August 2023, uh, Villain Nangu, how do you say his last name? Uh, Villeneuve, yeah, Villeneuve. Villeneuve declared uh, that his intentions for a third film almost finished with the script at this point. And based upon ticket sales of this one, I think it's probably going to happen. It's I a hope very so. it good continues chance. this way. Uh, Dune Messiah, uh, <laughs> which is fascinating to me because Dune Messiah doesn't necessarily end in a good way or have a Hollywood thing. And so I'm just fascinated by this. Um, Keep it this going. Success Keep it this. going. I want to get to Duncan Idaho's addictive penis. And uh, I don't know what he's talking <laughs> about. It gets weird as hell, and I am excited for it to get to God Emperor of Dune. And all you have to do is look at the book cover to see what the hell is in that. And uh, I don't think it'll ever. I don't know if he'll ever get there. And I'm going to scream bloody murder cop out if they stop at, you know, Messiah and they're like, oh, we don't want to do uh, because I think Children of Dune has been adapted before. OK, it's on sci fi. They did a TV special. Uh, James McAvoy. If you want to know what eventually craziness happens, watch Seth that. Has some okay? fingers. You got Messiah and Ch Children of Dune. They combine for that one. So you can watch that. Uh, but I'm just so fascinated with this. Uh, but let me get to the actual <laughs> film, right? I thought it was uh, amazing. It freaking immersed me in the world of Dune so damn well. The visuals, the pacing, the editing, the music, the acting. I was on Arrakis. I was becoming a Fremen. And few films uh, do this for me where I'm like fully immersed in this. Now, granted, last night I watched Dune Part 1 to catch up. So I was really in the mood for this film. It, was, it caught me at the right moment. And um, not only was it incredibly satisfying in the uh, climactic battles, essentially a revenge story after what we know of what happened to uh, House Atreides after taking over Arrakis from House Harkonnen. And I will never call, call them uh, Harkonnens. They are Harkonnens from uh, David Lynch's These 1984. Cleaner, they're super clean, that's and that's why, why I'm never... That's why they're different. Har <laughs> Harkonnens. I'm not calling them that. They're Harkonnens. And uh, it was just great acting uh, from everybody. Austin Butler. I didn't even think they dude fade because they didn't reference him at all in the part one. What well, turns out, Dinu is saving the best for last. He really builds him up in this film as a rival to Paul. Though, how much of a rival can you have to this sort of legendary figure within the Dune universe? They did the best they could with yeah. it, and I, I think it gave a good performance. And ultimately, it was incredibly satisfying. Um, now, if you didn't like Dune Part 1, you're, I don't think, What's Dune Part <laughs> 2. Well, yeah, I was wrong with you, uh, and but I don't think Dune Part 2 is going to no, completely you change your mind. Now, I do think Part 2 is actually better than Part 1 uh, after watching them back to back, but will it completely change your mind? No, I don't think so. Uh, I would say there's, there's three big flaws for me personally with this film and with the news version of it. 
it, uh, vision of it. And uh, we could talk more about that uh, when we get into the nitty gritty. So I'm going to do a non-spoilers video. And then I'll do a separate spoilers video in, in a separate video. Now in that spoilers video, there's going to be spoilers. And then there's going to be hardcore spoilers for the future that me and me and Alex get to talk it about. It gets weird. It gets weird it as gets fuck. Weird. That's the I thing want he told me about his fucking addictive penis long time ago. There's no addictive penis. I don't know what he's talking about. We'll have to talk Google about it. that. No. Yes, addictive <laughs> anyway, penis. Anyway, stop it. <laughs> Everything's got to turn into sex for this goddamn <laughs> channel. Okay. Uh, well, for, for Alex. <laughs> What's right. in the books? It's in the... It's, n yes, it is. Somewhat. Okay? When we get further along the Spoiler. line... Spoiler! There's a lot of sex. <laughs> there's sex as a weapon. Yes. Yeah, so that's kind of... Uh. Yeah. That's uh, the, the Jezebel. Anyways, I <laughs> the the loved the fucking film, as you can tell. And I think I said it all right there. Got out my initial thoughts. I'd love to hear from you guys. I fucking love this film. Go out and watch it. Hey. It was uh, two hours and 46 minutes of pure entertainment. Yes. Uh, there was no drag time for me. I was in, I was like in it for the entire time. Uh, I love the cinemat uh, cinematography, mm. whatever. Whenever mm -hmm. um, the battle, we see the Harkins. No, <laughs> we see the Harkins. Uh, it turns into black and white. It's a nice oh, little love thing. It. And then Austin Butler comes out looking like powder. No <laughs> old movie. <laughs> oh if you shit! Seen that. <laughs> I know, right? We're old, Joe. <laughs> uh, the, it was just done good, uh, except for uh, they kind of push back um, hmm? Bautista a little bit. He wasn't. Really, yeah. Mm -hmm. But everyone needs to kind of shine. The only one that kind of felt out of place. Was Christopher? Ooh, and yes, just, it's Joe. Like, it it's like, sucks. Whoa. I thought, like, like, you know, everything yeah. just fits within him. It's like, whoa. I'm, I don't I'm know if he's too. He's old, older these days, or he wasn't into it's the just, role. It yeah. just didn't work, and I wanted it to work. Images of him, I'm like, that's Christopher Walken, you know. And I was like, but I'm willing to accept it. I am. Yeah. You see his performance, like and little, I'm like, nah. little nitpick. It's like nah. look, overall, everything. We could have gone with anybody else. Sorry. Yeah, especially like the way. Thank you, it's Jonas. just Christopher Walken. It's Great just like point. His his demeanor yes. stuff. But other than that, I. <sighs> Fucking great movie, though. But that was just a minor thing. Okay, yeah. Um, fantastic. And real quickly, this movie dives adds an element to the story that uh, I'm not sure is in the books or is explored as much in the books. He does two new things here. I think there's a lot more infighting between the Fremen uh, that he explores, and I and. I think he was intentionally trying to add some more complexity, some more world building, some more believability, and and for it not to be black and white, good, bad, you know, simplistic storytelling. And some might think this works, and others might think that's annoying or it doesn't quite work. I think ultimately it works. Uh, a simpler story would definitely f flow smoother, but I like the added complexity. And then finally, uh, they, they do a thing with Jessica, whereas uh, Paul's sister is supposed to be born by now, and she's like a, a little... Yeah, little I was waiting for that. Like, I thought it was going to Creepy kind of child, time. you know, the kind of thing. They the keep her in the eyes. womb, and she can actually kind of influence her mother and speak through her, yeah. and it's kind of... It's super... I like that oddness, so I was begging for it, more it oddness. Yeah, he fits. does add a little bit more oddness, but I would have loved a lot more gross and, and crazy stuff like we saw in the 1984. Um, so those two elements, I, I think, are, are worth uh, talking about. Mm -hmm. Alex, mm -hmm. what the heck did you think of Dune Part 2? I mean, Denny is one of the best people working in Hollywood in film, and so he does a really amazing job. It's almost an impossible task, right? If, like, yeah. ten years ago you're like, hey, can you make Dune movie? No, it's <laughs> – Dune – Dune is – This is real, Joe. I'm seriously. Dune yeah. is – foundationally important to space operas and high fantasy and, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Just Game of Thrones in space and he does a very good job bringing those elements And it's important. It is more important than it is good and I know some people don't agree with me. I think, so Game of Thrones, so Dune is more important um, because so many people stood on its shoulders and like they explored and like honestly there were better writers but it didn't have like they were a little less horny like they, they had tighter <laughs> ideas and so it's crazy to me that we have some of the best movies in Hollywood being made today is a 
Dune movie. It is wild to me because I never would have guessed it. Because I mean, David Lynch, like you can love that, love it. Yeah. But it's not good. And it's like no. a, it's a weird story. Yes, it it. How dare you, sir? I mean, but it's I, I'm I, you know I, they <laughs> hated him there. because he spoke the truth. But that's Roger that, that's, Ebert and Cisco said it was the Antichrist, and I'll never forget that. Yeah, you know? and, and so it's like it is wild to me. That of his time. This is the best. This is like the best movie I've seen this year. Right? Have we ever seen? Have we seen anything else that's no, been like amazing? Right now, no. And no, so it was great. We'll probably be talking about it at the end of the year when we're talking about the best movies. List. I immediately want to watch it again. That's how much I liked it. So and I this movie's like nine hours more. long. <laughs> and so it's like it, 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 it's, it's crazy. Yeah, the only reason experience. I know it was so long is the poor guy next to me drank too much water and he had to get up to go pee like <laughs> three times. And I'm like time. amateur. Like we, we went before, and so it's like I don't have to worry about. Yeah, that stuff, I, I prepared myself a motherfucking Alamo draft house and their fried food. I got yeah. messed up so. But what did I miss? Uh, well, we'll talk about it. Yeah, and so like they, there's some subtle changes. There, well, not so subtle changes. There's some pretty major changes to major characters. Like Chani's different. Something that yes. you reference where it's like she kind of is no longer like, oh yes, thank you, white savior, for saving my people. Yeah. Uh, but she, even even this, even if you're not annoyed with white saviors, I think she can be abrasive for some. Yeah. Um. But ultimately, Chani I is don't ha- right. I, I don't hate and it. I don't mind it. Yeah. He's planting seeds for clearly his part three. Yeah. Because while I thought this would, uh, you know, end in a complete satisfying story, I guess I kind of forgot that they were going to do Dune Messiah. It does end in a complete satisfying story. But they tack on a scene at the end with Chani where it's like, oh, he intends for this to continue because it's not really a closing shot. It's mm. more... There is more to this story. Yeah, there is. The book was kind of like a happy. He's like on top. He's got like everything great. And so he like he yeah. wins. And this is not setting that up. This is definitely yeah. makes sense. And this is something that I was. It pissed. feels like Empire Strikes Back kind of thing. There's there's bigger things on the horizon. Yeah. Yeah. But Empire knew that they were getting a third movie. Right. Denny's done this. Now this is twice. We were not guaranteed to get Dune That's Part true. Two. And I was pissed. Everybody was like, is he going to get it? And, yeah. and he got it. And, fail. and I'm glad it. he got it. I hope you guys go watch it. Yes. But we're not guaranteed yet yeah. to get the, the third part. Right. No, we're guaranteed. I can already tell from the amount of tickets sold. And it's already on track for well, 170 we, we, out of its $180 million budget but is it gonna be in the first week. The so if it makes it open back in the first it, week. It officially hasn't opened in theaters yet. Yeah, I mean, it's like. Tomorrow. Well, that's what it's tracking, my fault. It was yeah, yeah. tracking Yeah, but that. I mean, like, we'll see how it does as it. Meta there web are, numbers? Right, no, we're not sure. guaranteed. And I and <laughs> we're close. And we won't. I guarantee it. The Angry Joe guarantee. You're going to get a Dune Messiah. Just from all the interviews and stuff. He doesn't want to rush it, he says. He's already yeah. almost finished with the script, but it's happening, guys. It, Good. Yeah. Good. Well, I, I'm, yeah, definitely in agreement. And I want to touch back on what Alex said, and God, we have to touch that in spoilers, is that people thought that Dune, the first book, was too complex to adapt. And they said that it'll never happen on screen. And then it happened, okay? And this one does it really well. And now it seems like, oh, this is a story that anybody could have took on. Well, goddammit, I want them to get to the fucking third book. No, the fourth book, four, yeah, four, five, and six, those are truly, truly the unadaptable ones. And I kind of want this series to succeed solely so that they have to make them and i think that hollywood will cop out they won't ever make it Mm -hmm. we won't ever see a god emperor of dune we won't ever see heretics of dune and we won't ever see chapter house and that is a fucking shame because those have me more excited than anything because they're so wild we'll talk about it in spoilers but what i'm what i'm trying to put praise on is that they've done it so well here that i am ready for dune messiah which is the third book which doesn't really have a audience pleasing storyline message and ending so i'm incredibly fascinated to how they will handle this because ultimately the dune saga was not only humanity exploring itself and 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 its reach across the stars but also uh not putting faith into uh your leaders this is the whole fucking point. And uh, so we'll see how audiences will, will deal with that. Um, but okay, go, going to the actual uh, film again, uh, let's talk a little bit about um, some of the different uh, choices here. Did you like, Joe, that the Fremen were, and, and especially Chani, were kind of at odds with each other? This whole 
prophecy was yes. put in there by the Bene Gesserit. <clears throat> And this film, instead of going whole on, everybody lock and step, saluting and, and you know, fervent um, worship, they would kind of resist. Yeah, for me, I liked it. Like, uh, I haven't read the book, but this felt like more realistic because, like, usually you yeah. have both sides and you see both aspects. So you could kind of see it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, okay, well, I believe them. It's like, oh, it, they're from the South, so they believe anything. And they're just right. like, whatever. And this no. one's like, I want somebody to fight for me. I'm here to free the freemen mm -hmm. and all this stuff. So, yes, okay. that was That's a good, good take for me on that one. How did you like that? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it works. I don't know. Yeah, it works. I think that when you change something that's important from the book, you have to nail it. And I think he set it up in enough ways. There's a lot of supporting evidence. I mean, there's things like a little character saying, it's like, look, life is so hard in the South mm -hmm. that faith is all you've got. Mm -hmm. And it makes sense. It's like, okay, then that's why the fanatics yes. live down here. It's a little easier up here. So, like, he set it up as far as, as, as the world building. Yes. So, it's like, that is important if you're going to make changes. Yeah, and um, the guy obviously has an eye for uh, visuals. Uh, his oh, editor yes. is amongst the best editors. Uh, the pacing, I just love it. Every frame is telling so much of a story in its own. It is pleasing to look at. It looks like a artwork uh, as you go along. And as I said, I was so immersed in the world of the Fremen, what it's like on Arrakis, uh, you know, spice harvesting, becoming an insurgent and attacking the Harkonnens, building power and trying to find a way to essentially get revenge. And um, yeah, and having a lot of the machinations that were set up by the various factions all throughout the universe start to come to fruition. And Paul plugs into that and finds a way to make it his own and take it. Um, but there's a lot of eternal, internal conflict that's shown in this film with the Paul character. If I take power, I have these visions that something terrible is going to happen. And it's interesting to see him sort of kind of resist his... Because uh, mm -hmm. you didn't really have that in the 1984 version, and I'm not sure how much you have it in the book. I, I know some of it is there, but um, it's definitely here, and I like that. I think it does set up for what eventually happens in Messiah and Children of Dune. And it does deepen and make the story more believable and complex when it's done like that. But, um, yeah, there are some elements that are ramped down that I miss. I miss the Mentats. These are... Joe, if you don't know, in Dune, all computers have been banned. AI has been banned because of the uh, um, the Butlerian mm -hmm. Jihad thousands of years ago when Skynet attacked <laughs> and they about, they lost millions and millions of life. And, in fact, Earth was destroyed kind of thing. So um, that's why all these houses are kind of scattered. And you, what are these planet names? I've never heard of them kind of thing. Um, so they ban that. And they have these humans who it's their thing to you know make all these uh, calculations. You even see um, he has... Well, I guess he's not in this film because the Atreides is uh, pretty much wiped out. But that first guy with the white eyes that makes those calculations. Yeah. And uh, so that um, another thing is kind of, you know, the uh, the grossness of the films and, and the underbelly of the different factions. But it's Denis and I like his style of Harkonnens because, as you said, when the film shifts to Getty Prime, it's black and white. They even have these amazing fireworks. Yeah, I've never it's just seen like before. ink drops. Ink <laughs> drops. It was so visually yeah. pleasing. And then they have these like gladiatorial, <laughs> wacky, fucking horned guys in black armor that look like Emperor's that Guard so cool. that kind of surround as, as they build them up. And honestly, do you feel like Fade was a threat to Paul? I didn't really because, and, but. It, he definitely was more than in the 1984 uh, version because it's a uh, sting and he's got his cod piece out and he's like, I that's, will kill him. That's <laughs> yeah. And he's psychotic and crazy. But this one, they actually try to put some more lore behind it. They're like, he, is, the Benny Gesserit has a backup plan. And then they, he could be, uh, you know, the uh, Hazarak 2, the Kazarak 2. So. Um, I think, yeah, the short amount of time that we were introduced to him, uh, I think it depicted it very well. Because, mm -hmm. like, we didn't really know right. about him. A whole the lot first of time one, with him. then the mm -hmm. second one is kind of like we seem like second half. It's still pretty good, and it was great. 
Yeah, I, I, I don't know if I... I think they kind of neutered him a little bit, and I didn't feel like he was a threat. Is that they, a pun? Stink pun? Why? Because the first time they the, show him. The very him. first time they show yeah. him, they're, they're doing a... It's, a, it's, it's, very, it's very gladiator, right? And so there's two giant jack dudes he's going to fight, and then a third guy who is just a guy. And he's like, I'm going to go fight him and show everyone I'm a badass, and it's clearly for theater. You clearly mm-hmm. see that they're putting sedatives into these big d- yes. into these dudes. Yeah, and so then, it kind of undercuts this idea and, that he's a great fighter. And then so all you had to do was not have him drug those other ones and be like, look, this guy has been pretending to be a badass his whole life, but he actually is legit a badass, and you have him just tear through them. Yeah. But, like, these guys are stumbling and can barely walk, and, like, one guy's like, meh, and then he dies. Yeah. Like, I'm not impressed visually yeah. when you kill a drug doctor. I know why there, yeah. but for storytelling purposes, it would have been nice for to get a little bit of that mm-hmm. ripping through people. But it's, you know, the... The Harkonnen culture. They're fucking, you know, they're just fucking assholes. Harkins? and Yeah. Harkonnens. The, the Harkonnens, yeah. And so the, the problem with the, the Benny and the Jet lady who yes. is like, she's, it's all uh, tell, not show. We are told how much of a badass fate is. Mm. And we're not really shown because, you know, she's like, oh, he's super smart. And he's a sociopath. And then she put a baby in me. And we can control him. And he really likes sex. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, okay, well, you've told me all those things. Can you show me any of those things? He and look, I'm, mother I, it sounds, he likes I'm nitpicking throats. something so small because I do love this movie. But, like, that's a character I don't think they did very well with. Yeah, um, mm-hmm, uh, so they, they, <clears throat> uh, I think Austin Butler does the maximum uh, yeah. efficiency with yeah. what he's given in the film to kind of elevate that character on, on that level. But, uh, yeah, and I'm surprised at how much it plays out like the film version. I want to know, is that almost exactly how it plays out in the book? And, in fact, they even mimic some lines, which must have been from the book. Uh, you know, uh, the mother reverend calling uh, Paul an abomination as he uses the voice on her. There, there was That's very exactly li- from the 1984. Yeah, there's very little interaction between them. And I, I remember there being a lot more interaction with Paul to kind of like dunking on her. This one, he just tells her to shut up and then... yeah. But. But uh, I think an ultimately great payoff to uh, this this world, this unique vision that he's done so well with. And it's like, man, I can see I want to explore this more, uh, this universe. And I'm so happy that there's another space opera out there. I highly recommend y'all start start watching YouTube videos. Quinn's Ideas is a great YouTube channel that you can watch for a bunch of Dune lore if you do want to know about some of the crazy ass shit that happens in book four, five, and six. And then his son, because uh, Frank Herbert eventually passed away sadly before being able to finish and then uh, his son kind of takes over mm-hmm. and does his, his thing. And uh, that's where we get the expansion of the um, the Butlerian Jihad as a kind of a prequel series. And eventually what this threat that was mentioned in the final book of Frank's, uh, his son decides this is what it's going to be and we're going to do it. So it's it's an interesting universe and I'm so happy that it's doing well, that it can sit alongside Star Wars, uh, Game of Thrones, uh, you know, some of the heavies. And it has its own style, and I really like it. So let's go with final verdicts for part two. Go ahead. Um, I I, I don't know. I'm I'm at nine ten territory, yeah. and I'm trying to decide whether. And the only the only things that I don't like. It's what not, about? Let's talk about the romance. How about that? Did you really get that sense of romance with Paul and and, Chani? and Johnny? So that's actually the the kind of the lack of setup for it was kind of the problem that I have with the whole film. You know, you mentioned that ten years ago it would be impossible to make a Dune movie. I actually do think it's impossible to make a Dune movie one hmm. because we got six hours, and I honestly feel like yeah. we're rushing in this one. We took our time in the first one. There's long periods of us like exploring certain yeah, things, yeah, yeah. but in this mm-hmm. one we kind of go quick through some things. There's mm-hmm. like the 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 his, you know the Jessica betrayal stuff completely. There's a lot of stuff that we rush through, or and so. Um, I think that ultimately I'm going to say that this is a 10 out of 10. I think that he did. This is almost an impossible task of to make a Dune movie, even to break it up into two and to pay it 
you know, it, it's crazy when you take something that people kind of universally love and you mm-hmm. don't write your own shit in it and you kind of take the parts that everyone likes and it plays out as it should and there's no, you know, let's shock the audience with my own crazy shit like yeah. we get in everything else we're covering on this goddamn channel now <laughs> because every time we watch something based on something well, we love, that. someone goes like, no, I want to put my own character in there or I want to change Thank something. Thank you. And yeah. so he, he, does, he does add a few things. which He is does. The, he does change but things. But I think it's based on ideas that were already there and frankly ideas that I think Frank Herbert would have I- I- appreciated him yeah. explore and then it just makes more sense because there's times in when there's different media right and when you see some things on the screen sometimes subtle changes I don't think he made any wild changes no it and feels so, respectful it, to the source it material. feels respectful and as someone who is a fan and has been a fan for a long time it's like look you made something it's fan service but you also made something that I, at least I consider a wonderful piece of art okay. so I am going to go 10 out of 10 and I think you did a great job I agree. I'm also going to go with the 10. This was a great film. Everyone did a great job acting. It's got my oh. wifey, uh, Florence, in Outstanding. it. Outstanding. Oh, um, she's your wife. I didn't know. I love yeah. the scenes, and the scenes are just fucking amplified with the music mm-hmm. to go with it. And he Florence made, isn't in it too much. I wish she yeah, had yeah, said, but she's got, a, she's she, got her part. Yeah, yeah. Got it's her. fine. And this made a fucking sand like nothing, it was sand out there. Nothing but sand. But I was still fucking. How do you make a debt? Like it, yeah. normally, I hate the. De- I, like, I hate desert. You're just in the it's desert. coarse. <laughs> It, it, it gets <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. I'm like Anakin. I don't even really like, okay. like, the, like the desert. I don't like you know the the. I just don't like it. It's hot and it's. I don't like it. It was, it was great. But it made me like it. Yes. I wish I lived there and I wish I was a <laughs> fremen. So to, for for a person Another who doesn't style. really like the the you know that style and and the sets me, were I'm just engrossed yeah. in it. Boom, engrossing keyword. So ten out of ten. Yeah, great sets, wow. great everything. And little nitpicks, but well, still. that makes me feel uh, wow, uh, some go. pressure. I was not going to give it a ten out of ten. I go. was gonna give it a nine out of ten, okay. and I think that's because I like it is so close for me. Um, but it's that the that lack of grossness. The, it, everything is sterile and clean and, and kind of presented that. I love the added complexity. But here's what I am going to do. And I don't know if you want to modify your, your score, Alex, if I was picking up on this or if you truly feel this is a 10 out of 10. I feel this is a 9. I went back and I looked. I gave the first one an 8. But if you combine this into Dune, okay, because he clearly <laughs> broke it apart into two pieces. You have to. Yeah. If you – Review it as one piece of content. Just watch it all. That's the ten out of ten for me. Time for that. I want to give it a ten. <laughs> you do. We're here. We've done it. We see the first yeah, one. Everybody has back. seen it. Yeah. So I give that a ten out of ten. This is a motherfucking masterpiece a sci-fi spectacle it does everything that i wanted it to do do i have personal preferences yeah i want a little yeah. grossness i want a little more here i want a little more there but that is all you know wayside because it is executed in a person's vision and i just freaking love it and i cannot wait to get to talk about spoilers and some of these changes i don't know if i can do it justice we might have to do a third video in the future once this comes out um in on the small screen but i do recommend you going out and seeing it on the big screen as big a screen as you can i hear it comes out on imax if you have an opportunity to see it there uh do it so yes a fantastic film Go out and see this in the theaters. Yep. I hope it makes a billion dollars. Do I think it's going to make a billion? Well, it's already doing 170 tracking. So that's the first weekend. I guess it really depends on... Um, let me see uh, what the first film made. Uh, I, don't, I, I think it'll probably miss uh, that. Dune Box Office... Um, I think it'll course. do better than the first one because I think people are more used to going back to the theater versus when, like, it was right around COVID, out. right? Yeah, because do, do you watch it here? We'll okay, it here. so part yeah, one made four hundred and two million. Okay, so I did, and some people were like, "This is gonna make a billion. I don't think it'll hit a billion. It, it, I think it'll double. It, it, the best I think it'll do is it'll double its original, so or the first one. So I think it can get to seven hundred thousand, seven hundred million, or eight hundred million combined. It's and billion. that to me automatically greenlights Messiah and gives me a small hope that we might see Children of Dune, and my personal one, God Emperor of Dune. 
Okay, and 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 guys, maybe that'll happen when this becomes like Hellraiser. Like the, these are the golden days. We are living in the golden days, and then 10, tw 10 years, twenty years, thirty years later, they'll be doing those cheap, <laughs> trying to like back in our day, we called them straight to VHS. Straight to, yeah. This is straight to streaming. I want to see this. <laughs> they, did this do well enough that I, that oh. Joe gets his God Emperor of Dune straight to VHS? Oh, the changes that Netflix would make, it would just make it unwatchable. I, yeah. I know, but I want to see that that train wreck which by the way with this doing so well uh that dune the sisterhood which i think the project has been changed to dune the prophecy dune prophecy upcoming science fiction television series uh based on this going to be on max following the origins of the Bene Gesserit and the sisterhood right there so um i guess that might still be going forward anyways a lot of dune content we'll talk to you in the spoilers video but go out and watch Yes. Dune and help it make it a success. All right. We'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.